Alright, let's get this going. I'm gonna head to the palace, which is on the other side of this, uh, plaza. And there's nothing on that pillar, so... And the reason I was heading in that direction into the snowbank is because there's usually something there, but there isn't. Not at the moment. Yeah, I'm sorry for the sound lag. This is where things all come together. Well, not really. It just seems a bit thrown together. It's well, we really appreciate your service, sir. Sapientis Gladio, so you might as well pull out a well, survey and see how you enjoy your May I consider our negotiations to be vision, isn't it? Yes. Oh well. Whatever may happen you get my point. Russia, the goodwill of Japan will extend to whomever the next emperor may be. I'm afraid I'll require more than that. You don't need to worry. I'm the direct representative oh, yeah. of Foreign Minister Kantaro Ishimura. Ishimura. Ishimura is My jerk. words may be considered the will of the Emperor. We look forward to establishing He's kind of like the kid in the playground that if you just punch him in the nose, he cries. He cries to the nearest teacher. Like, Naturally, <laughs> at the full cost. By summer, we should be able to supply you with rations and fully modern weapons. You mean fully wa modern weapons as in uh, huge you mechanical you things like the giants, Lord robot Rescue. spiders, and fly I'm drones? So sorry. His holiness is terribly busy. That's fine. I'm serious. We have to fight the Japanese military, you have to fight those. Sorry to spoil you. Naturally, whoever takes over the throne will find a true friend in my country. Huh. Well, you kind of realize something. If Nikolai is not allowing Rasputin, uh, Kato to touch Rasputin, what do you think that means? So I'm gonna save here. Save my priest. Usually they change the name to Princess and Company. Now what I have to do is I have to go into the Grand Hall, which is why I went in this direction. But the trouble is... <laughs> the trouble is... Somebody's guarding the doorway, so I have to go through a different entrance. Just looking around. Evan doesn't have anything useful to say. So I'm gonna hang out. I was trying to see if you can let me pass. Which is why I head back there to talk to them one soldier, but you know. So we have to go through this an awkward way. This is the problem I have with the palace is that it's very really easy. Is that you have to go through all these really crazy directions to get somewhere. But then again, though I endured a little bit of hell in the beginning, it's helped me a little bit in the long run. Because I had to reach the save point in that area without having to go along the balcony area in the atrium. Now I talk to this person because he, I give him the Jeruma doll and he gives me something in return. And Super Piroshki, I, I don't speak Russian, I'm sorry. So I'll see, I haven't seen it so I'm just going to take a look at it. Again, lots of junk that I have. Now the nerd in me wants to say what's so super about it. Oh well. 
Now I have to... Oops. I discovered that... Uh, since I looked a little confused, I actually did figure out where I need to go. And I can't go there because there's a guard there. So I assume that... I do Okay. I'm sorry if I'm going everywhere at once and, and a little confused since I did play this not too long ago. I was trying to see if any of these doors led to a stairway because I remember there was one. I think all these are basically... I wouldn't say bedrooms, but... Something like that. I have to use the east hallway to get to the great hall. That I can do. Now I head over there. <laughs> and since I know where to go, I'm assuming that the doorway I'm going to be looking for is to my left when I enter. Because the right ones are usually those those types of rooms, those bedrooms, or visit rooms, whatever there is in a palace. And I think that... Oh wait, that is the Rasputin's room. It was really creepy entering Rasputin's room. It's not so creepy when you look at it, it's just the creepy things that you find. There we go. White door. That leads directly into the main hallway. Maybe. Now, this part's going to be a little bit cut up because, well, for two reasons. One, I was a bit interrupted and had to handle something. And another is because this, this specific and video so ran too long. the ones who saved the princess from the vicious wild dog. With bat wings and red hair that looks Honestly, like a chicken head. What on earth were you doing out at night? Well... I had an important chore to take care of at Edgar's. You couldn't take care of it tomorrow? No. Nevertheless, even if you did save my daughter's life, we cannot allow strange people to wander around inside the castle. But why? There's nothing wrong with them! How can you be so certain? You would resist me, whatever I say. But... Why not go easier, Empress? Lord Rasputin! Anastasia is at a naturally curious age. She's bound to have an adventure or two. Surely it is God's will that she be saved by these kind benefactors. You surprise me, Lord Rasputin. I don't really understand why he's acting so this away. strange. I'm sure there'll be fine companions to the princess. In the afterlife. <laughs> Very well. Anastasia. You may go with the strangers. I should like to thank you again for saving my daughter's life. Have a pleasant stay in my land. Oh, this part is thank funny. You, Watch Yuri and everyone else. There we go. I feel sorry for Alexei. He doesn't really say much of anything. Still alive, I see, little one. I'm gonna pause here and pick it up later. So see you.